So my name is Josh Katie. Um, I'm from Watkins Glen, New York. I graduated from the Corning Community College Welling program on June 24th, 2021. Uh, currently looking for a welding job, but had no prior experience to welding before coming into this place. Um, uh, what made me decide to take welding was the trades are in high demand. Uh, with the whole pandemic thing coming on, I lost my job. Uh, as a wine server up at Glenora Wine Cellars, and much of the service industry kind of did. And I was kind of like, I need something that's going to help me build a career. Um, I come from kind of a working class family. My uncle's a welder, um, my mom's an accountant. But the family, men in my family have always done some type of building work. Um, so I figured, why not give welding a shot? Uh, my mom got an email from the alumni section of it that said, hey, they're looking for welders for this program. Um, it's a good opportunity. You could go through uh, any grants and all that through the state. Um, so I decided to apply and was accepted here. I do, I, I graduated from Corning Community College in 2016 and graduated from Mansfield University of Pennsylvania in 2018. I studied just uh, arts, I uh, got an Associates of Arts degree at Corning, just kind of basic general education, and then I studied mass communications with a focus on electronic media, news, radio, television uh, at Mansfield. I would say kind of like keep your keep an open mind um, because not everybody can be considered book smart, and just because you're book smart doesn't mean that you're street smart or um, being able to build something doesn't make you dumb by any means. I, I mean, I'm not good at math by any means whatsoever, and this really requires you to know math and really requires you to be focused in, in, in the moment and uh, aware because you're working with a pretty dangerous machine and it's a pretty dangerous process. You're working with sometimes 400, 500 degree temperature metal. Um, and if you're not you're not really aware of what you're doing, you can get hurt badly. Uh, I mean, I, unexpected, for me, it was like, I just thought you could, any type of uh, material you can weld, that there wasn't there wasn't a setting aspect to it. It was just like, you turn your welder on, you got an inch piece of metal, you can just go over it and it'll just weld it together. Um, that's not the case. You really have to know uh, what temperature your machine amperage is going to be running at because you run it what's called too cold to where it'll basically just leave a kind of like a slab of metal over top of it it won't penetrate to it or you can run it too hot and that's just going to mess up the metal construct of it kind of burn right through it another thing too is just how much heat can really warp the metal that you're working with uh, for instance we use uh, 14 gauge stainless steel which is kind of paper thin stuff about that big and you put too much heat into it, it's gonna warp it and everything, and that can really mess with the part that you're working with. You need something that has to fit in a you know, six by six piece, fit perfectly in there, and you put way too much heat into it, and it's gonna warp, then that messes up all your dimensions. You gotta take more time to hammer it out or make everything, make everything straight and square. Uh, everybody welds different. Uh, that's what, that was what Mark says, and that's what I found out. Um, the three guys that I worked with in this class were all varying ages, all different sorts of uh, experiences. We had a gentleman here named Dave. Dave's been working with welders since he was 13 years old, flame torches, everything, and he's probably in his mid to late 30s. And he came in, and some of his first welds for what he's doing now, drastic change, and he's been working with them since he was a little kid. Uh, he just came in here to get certified so he can further his career. He's got the experience. Uh, another kid, his name was Connor. Uh, he was in the Marine Corps for a couple of years, came in here, ended up getting, was the first one to get a welding job out of us. and was working at Mercury on Fridays throughout the whole semester. Uh, and then to see his, his start to now, is, he changed a lot too. And then I think also having the ability to work at Mercury helped him also. And then there was a guy named Andy. He's a couple years older than me. Uh, he worked at Crown Tank doing some welds a little bit, and he said from the guys that told him his welds were good at Crown Tank, 
they must have been lying to him because what he's doing now is completely different. And the same for me too. I had no welding experience to this whatsoever. Uh, my first welds were all over the place. Uh, but I just went to Mark and showed him and I said, hey, this is what I'm working with. I'd run about five different ones, uh, each one just trying to learn from the last in terms of how close to get into the weld pool, kind of manipulating everything. Said, hey, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And he would list off what I was right doing wrong. I'd go in there, run another five, and I'd just try to build constantly off of that. So from coming in from having no experience whatsoever to leaving now with a little bit more of the knowledge that I had, there's still a long road to go. I'd say kind of like driving. Um, that's the only thing I can, the first thing I thought about is driving. Um, when you start off, I mean, I remember being like a little kid on a four-wheeler and you're just throttle punching it, just trying to get an idea of how fast you can go. Um, and you're just trying to understand that momentum. Um, once you kind of understand the momentum and then you, you realize how, how, how much you can touch the gas pedal, how fast you can go, how in control you can be, um, then you start to make a little bit of you know, maybe more sharper turns or stuff like that. Then you end up racing, uh, you know, doing some, some other things in more of a controlled environment. But I remember being nervous driving at like 16 on the highway. Now I'm going 90 on the highway getting pulled over. You, just, you, you end up getting a little bit more comfortable with what you're doing um, you know, in, in terms of that. Now, I'm not saying you should go 90 on the highway by any means, but you end up getting this confidence um, that maybe you're a little bit untouchable. And then there's something that kind of reels you back into it. But that, that's what I would say is welding's kind of a little bit like driving.